Boise State's 2006-2007 football season is truly a season to remember. Boise State tonight steps onto the national stage, playing the role of David, trying to take down Goliath. We're playing for the, the city of Boise, our university, the state of Idaho, and anybody else out there that thinks they might not have a chance, we're playing for everybody. Let's go. Let's go, Tommy. Get there, Tommy. Sweep throw right here, boys. Sweep throw right here. Just before the start of the 2006 football season, Dan Hawkins, the previous Boise State football coach, left to coach for Colorado. With not a lot of time to scout around for a new coach, the franchise offered their rather inexperienced offensive coordinator, Chris Peterson, the head coach position. Sophomore tailback Ian Johnson said the following about the transition. We trusted him and knew he was going to take care of us. We knew he was a great person. He was going to recruit people just like himself. We waited for him to get everybody here and he got in the perfect people. The players were ready to continue their record of undefeated seasons and rallied behind Coach Peterson. The Boise State Broncos went undefeated in the 2006 NCAA football regular season. According to the ESPN sports analysts of that era, Boise State would drown that season under a new head coach. So, in the disbelief of most of the country, Boise State charged into the 2006 season rolling over their schedule. The Broncos proved that analysts wrong. Although their impressive 12 win, 0 loss record wasn't enough to get to the BCS National Championship, Boise State pushed on trying to prove that the small towns, the unknown teams, and the underdogs can still be heroes. Boise State was selected to play in the 2007 Fiesta Bowl. Are they physical enough to stand in there and play toe-to-toe -to -toe with Oklahoma? Secondly, are they fast enough to play at the speed they're going to see from Oklahoma? And thirdly, can they do it for four quarters? This is fun stuff. I mean, let's be honest about it. Everybody wants to know, can Boise State, only the second non-BCS conference school, Utah did it two years ago and beat up on a down pit team, but can Boise State hang with Oklahoma here tonight? Oklahoma, with seven national titles to its name, is college football royalty. Led by junior running back Adrian Peterson, the Sooners went 11-2 and, and won the Big 12. They entered the game as seven-point favorites, and their matchup against a mid-major, even 12-0 Western Athletic Conference champ Boise State was supposed to be a wrong. What followed instead was one of the greatest bowl games ever and a turning point in the BCS. We should have been the guys that were, you know, wearing their uniform. We should have been the big time guys. But everybody had some different scenario that they were missed or overlooked and, you know, had a really big chip on their shoulder that, you know, I'm better than that guy across the field. During fall ball, you know, all we talked about was setting goals and setting goals and meeting our expectations, you know, and taking it one game at a time. and. I think that's how we saw it. We all bought into it. We bought into the system. You have to believe in, you know, something bigger than yourself. You have to, uh, you know, all buy into one cause in order to, to make it work. We're going to win as a team and a family, or we're going to die as a bunch of individuals. Play hard. That's all they ask for. If you can go out there and play hard, finish and every time, and keep doing it consistently, Obviously, we're going to win some games. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. We cannot take counsel of our fears, our naysayers, or the unknown. The Oklahoma 49. After stopping Oklahoma's first drive, Boise State quickly jumped out ahead. Question: Can the little dog run with the big dog? Three tight ends in the game. They hand it to Johnson into the end zone. Forty yards. Zabranski. Steps away from trouble, throws to the far side, and James cuts it back to the inside. Now to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown. Holy mackerel. Field. A 
the end of this half. We're going to hand it off, and that will be the final play of the opening half. Senior quarterback Jared Sabransky and star running back Ian Johnson led Boise State into halftime with a 21-10 advantage. Oklahoma didn't roll over. With 5.30 left in the third quarter, the Sooners got a break. When a punt bounced off the calf of a downfield Boise State blocker, Oklahoma recovered the muff and scored two plays later to make the score 28-7. And it hit, and it hit a Boise State player. If it did, it'll be Oklahoma football. And it is Oklahoma football. The Sooners stopped the Broncos on their next possession, and early in the fourth quarter, Oklahoma kicked a 28-yard field goal to pull within eight. The score remained 28-20 until Oklahoma drove for a touchdown and a two-point conversion with 126 remaining. And just as Boise State thought they could make a game-winning drive, Jared Zabransky miscalculated a sideline pass, which Oklahoma intercepted and ran for a touchdown. Walker took over as a starter and cornerback the fourth game of the season. Last year had a pair of Schumann racing on the field before the snap of the football. So Bramsky fires into traffic. With seconds left in the game and three-fourths of the field to go, Boise State faced fourth and long. On the first play of overtime, Oklahoma quickly proved Boise State was no match for them. The legend of the underdog was simply not true. But Boise State was simply not ready to give up to Goliath. Boise State needed to end the game right here. Going for two and the win was inevitable because Coach Peterson knew that there will come a time when Oklahoma will simply take over.